What is going on everybody, Jai Slayer here, and today we are back on the beta for Devour. I think I came up with one of the best strategies for the manor, and today I'm going to be showing you guys that while hopefully trying to beat single player in normal mode. So, without further ado, let's get in. Alright, I don't want to waste too much time on this. Basically, the strategy will come in whenever I have 6 out of 10. Kind of cut all this air, but I will return whenever we get the back garden opened so just give me one second all right and we are back all right so the main goal for this little strategy is you want to identify who is in the bodies in the back sort of area here where this arch is i don't know the official term for this i just i know it's an arch i guess i don't know just a bad garden but you want to identify the bodies from in here which is the three and then your fourth one will be this guy right next to the gazebo uh if you can't then you can get the one across as well if you want but you mainly want to get everyone that's in front of the manor first and then hopefully get everyone else after again this will make a lot more sense whenever i start getting the heads and the game starts like progressing more and more into uh end game also apparently they had like a bunch of fixes with the map already uh one of them was apparently the crows weren't able to get the heads whenever they were in the body but now they made that happen which for me that kind of sucks because if i would have known that the first time i played oh i would have abused it immediately that would have been so good to know but i mean we didn't really test it out so it's not like the end of the world also they updated the shovel now it actually like stands upright which is kind of cool also sorry if i keep cutting uh <laughs> chunks out in this video i don't want this video to be a, a 20 minute session like last episode but yeah all we, all we mainly need to do is keep at least the four heads that are needed in the back until, until we actually need them <laughs> Oh, perfect timing. So, a head should be spawned. I didn't know I can get up here, actually. Can I stand on this? I can. Wait, I can just walk along this? This is so weird. Wait. Glitch bot? Can she get me from here? Do we want to test? She definitely can't get me here. Maybe. She might though. That's what I'm scared about. <laughs> hey, if anyone's doing co-op, like playing beta doing co-op, let me know down in the comments if somehow you can find a glitch bot for this. I mean, we can go all the way over here. Wait. Wait. Oh, come on. You gotta let me. Like, I'm up here. She can definitely get me though. I probably thought about it. I mean, there's, there's an invisible barrier right here. Ah. Once we bury these two, that'll give us two heads. I need to... No, there is no RNG to this. That's a two. Run, 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 run. Turn around. Red eyes. And she's gone. Okay. Let's go towards the back here. Oh, 
Sweet. Wait, there's another exit. What? What? Uh, only just her showing up randomly. So, now we just need to wait for a second. The order that we do this? You. We're gonna need to put him immediately in this corner. Then and only then can I grab every other head and hope that Crow doesn't grab any of them. I heard the Crow. You're fucking with me. Okay, no, never mind. Oh, I heard a crow. You fucking suck. Uh, this is a little awkward, but... <gasps> oh my god! Run, 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 immediately. Other realm. time. <laughs> She's in the dead room right now. This is it, this is it. Let's go, man. That's how we do it. You guys gotta like the video for that. That is crazy that we managed to do that. Oh my gosh. I am shaking. Oh no, we're we gonna cut her head off. She loses everything. The tide loses nothing. We actually heard his voice. Oh my gosh. Where's the stats? What? There's no stats. What? Oh my gosh, man. And now this is broken as well. Devour devs, by the way, every single time I put on immune, it keeps getting rid of the perk whenever I exit the game or re-enter the game. I wanted to put that in the video before anything, but man, let's talk about that real quick. So if you are new to devour you won't get this and this is a little bit of spoilers but in every single ending ending excuse me that we had so far we have heard azazel's voice but it wasn't like that that was just only azazel normally it's like a mix between the character that we're going up against and azazel that was just only azazel but man so the what you saw there was basically the strat where we kept all three heads in the backyard. You put all three heads on while keeping the one head off the body uh, towards the gazebo. Because I'm pretty sure like there can be a crow spawn and there is a crow spawn in the backyard as well. It's just RNG based. 
but man, she was so close two times to killing me. Oh my gosh. Luckily, we brought her to the dead realm, stunned her, so she, she was lost. By the time we got to the priest, she was back in the living realm, and thankfully we got it, man. Oh my gosh. But, if you want to see hard mode or nightmare mode, I will wait until th the manor actually fully releases, because they did say that they will take a few days after tomorrow, I believe, by the time you're watching this. Uh, it should be tomorrow, whenever they're actually going to fix up the manor and change a few things. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We are so close to a thousand. Like I said, I will be uh, doing a face reveal and starting to use my... Uh, I'll start using my face cam in uh, videos like this. But hopefully you guys enjoy, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.